The Mitch Bonaguro era ended this morning when he was dismissed as head basketball coach at Siena. Following eight years of dedicated service, the 60-year-old, as expected, has been fired. Bonaguro's first five years at Siena were filled with highs as Fran McCaffrey's top assistant. The Saints won three consecutive MAC championships. But when McCaffrey left for Iowa, Bonaguro was elevated to head coach, and there was slippage immediately in the team's on-court performance. His three-year record of 35 wins and 59 losses just not good enough. Classy and gracious to the end, regardless of the circumstance, including a farewell text message to me today, Coach B is now Siena's former head coach. Certainly, if you sit down and look at it on paper, it's a little bit easier, but he's such a great person. He's a great professional, and I've never been around anybody that's worked harder at it, uh, so that makes it much more difficult. And, uh, you know, he's been doing this a long time, and as I said, he's always been a professional and a great person in the community, so that made it a little bit harder. What's the profile you think this time around? Yeah, there really isn't one. Uh, I just want somebody who's going to come in and, and help us win at a high level, who wants to graduate their student athletes and understands the brand of Siena. If that's, you know, head coach and assistant coach, that's fine, as long as it's the right person. So, who might that right person be? Among the early possibilities, all of whom are current head coaches, Dave Paulson has had tremendous success at Bucknell, but he may be in line to jump to a higher level than Siena right now. 32-year-old Andrew Toole at Robert Morris is the hot up-and-coming prospect. Vermont's John Becker is preparing to host UAlbany in the America East Finals. And Northeastern's Bill Cohen has been considered by Siena in the past. But to me, the most intriguing possibility is Loyola's Jimmy Patsos. And since Loyola is no longer a MAC rival with its move to the Patriot League, a Patsos hire by Siena would not violate an unwritten rule against intra-conference hiring. Ten years ago, Patsos took over a 1-27 Loyola program with no fan base. A decade later, the Greyhounds are consistently competitive for league titles. They reached last year's NCAA tournament, and they played at packed houses, including a celebrity row of some of Baltimore's sporting elite. Patsos is loud and bombastic and could rub some the wrong way, but he would breathe life immediately. And Dargenio told me this afternoon that none of the current Siena players has yet asked for a scholarship release, but whoever does get hired, he will likely have to re-recruit Troy High's Javion Ogunyemi. The six-foot, nine-inch forward signed his letter of intent to Siena late last year, but it does contain an out clause for just this occasion. Ogunyemi is meeting tonight with Siena officials who are also in contact with Siena's other incoming recruit, Stefan Jiggets, about trying to keep that commitment. Recruiters from other colleges have already been in contact today with both. It's likely Ogunyemi and Jiggets will both wait to see who replaces Bonaguro before deciding their college fate.